The Joint Light Tactical Vehicle, or the JLTV, is a new support vehicle program being developed by the U.S. forces, specifically the U.S. Army and the Marine Corps, to replace the Humvee. The new JLTV vehicle range is expected to confer more survivability from insurgent attacks such as roadside bombings and will also have a greater payload. Over the past 30 years, multiple wars and dozens of conflicts, the AM General Humvee has cemented its legacy in American culture. Officially, the Humvee went into service with all five branches of the United States military beginning in 1985. But there's no escaping father time or the unconventional nature of modern warfare. With Humvees proving vulnerable to roadside bombs and small arms fire, the U.S. Army and Marine Corps began looking for a successor in 2008. Oshkosh Corporation won the initial contract to provide the U.S. Department of Defense with JLTVs in 2015. The first JLTVs were delivered to U.S. military units in 2019, and the vehicle continues to undergo further development and testing to meet evolving mission requirements. Design and Protection of the JLTV Given the competitive nature of the JLTV competition, only limited technical detail has been released by either the U.S. Army or Oshkosh. The layout of the JLTV is standard for a modern wheeled combat vehicle, with the engine at the front, crew and troops in the middle, and cargo area at the rear. There is two single doors on each side, with one bulletproof window in the upper part. The vehicle is able to accommodate four military personnel. It incorporates field-proven technologies, advanced armor solutions, and expeditionary levels of mobility to redefine safety and performance standards for the U.S. armed forces and international militaries. The JLTV is equipped with an advanced crew protection system that offers a protection level similar to that of mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles. The armored capsule is scalable and can accept multiple armor configurations to protect the troops. The capsule is optimized for protection, weight, and mobility, and its modular and flexible design allows the vehicle to accept a greater range of upgrades and continuous enhancements. Engine and mobility of the JLTV. The JLTV is powered by a turbocharged diesel engine. There is also an option for hybrid diesel electric engine that is more fuel efficient. The JLTV is fitted with two run flat tires and will keep going with damaged fuel tank or engine oil reservoir. The JLTV is motorized with a digitally controlled Gale Banks Engineering 866T V8 diesel developing 397 HPs at 3000 RPM. The vehicle uses a fully automatic Allison transmission coupled to an Oshkosh transfer case. The JLTV modern technology engine delivers expanded power capabilities, greater fuel efficiency, and integrated communications. Equipped with the Oshkosh TAC-4i independent suspension system, the JLTV can safely navigate dangerous on- and off-road terrain while providing unmatched ride quality. The TAC-4i technology uses a proprietary technology to deliver 20 inches of independent wheel travel, 25% more wheel travel than any vehicle in the U.S. military's fleets. Suspension can be raised and lowered to meet transportability requirements via interior controls. The JLTV can run at a maximum road speed of 120 km per h with a maximum cruising range of 480 km. It can climb a gradient of 60% and a side slope of 40%. It can also cross a vertical step of 0.5 mm and a trench of 0.5 mm. The cost of a single JLTV has been estimated to be about $400,000. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to support us. Let's jump into the next question. Armament of the JLTV. A baseline JLTV carries no weapons. However, it can be armed with a roof-mounted 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun or 40mm automatic grenade launcher. The JLTV can be also used as a platform to carry anti-tank or anti-aircraft weapons. The LATV's Oshkosh roof-mounted turret is capable of mounting either an M240 machine gun, a MK-19 grenade launcher, or a BGM-71 tow anti-tank guided missile, 
all of which can be operated either from the turret or remotely inside the cabin. Variant of the JLTV The M278 variant It is a heavy guns carrier. It is a baseline four-door general purpose version of the JLTV family. It has a shielded M2 heavy machine gun station on the roof. Alternatively, it can be fitted with various remotely controlled weapon stations, armed with the M2 12.7mm heavy machine gun or even lightweight 30mm chain gun. The M1279 variant. It is a two-door pickup with a cargo area at the rear. It can carry various supply and cargo. The M1280 variant. M1280 is another general purpose version. It has four doors but lacks the roof-mounted weapons. And the M1281 variant is a close combat weapons carrier. And that is our VED today about the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle or JLTV. We hope you like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching the video until the end. See you in the next video.